this is like the first time in a long, long time that uh, two spirited people specifically are being celebrated. And I'm so amazed by it and I'm so grateful for it. Today we are at Revitalizing the Circle, Saskatoon's first two-spirit powwow. And the origin of this particular powwow has actually come out of a number of years of community, I should say, grassroots building. At a regular powwow, like many things in society, the dancing is gendered. Girls will dance, or women will dance, and men will dance, or boys will dance. But two-spirit powwow has no boundaries around gender, whether they identify as female, male, gender diverse, trans, non-gendered, they're free to dance wherever they feel most comfortable. That's where the term two-spirit came from, was acknowledging the fact that we have always been a very accepting people, we've always been a very loving people, and we've always been a people who have had a rich understanding of gender and sexual diversity. I hope that this catches on and that this becomes a part of uh, the powwow circuits as uh, we honor our two-spirit people because our people have been here since time immemorial and we've always believed in five genders as opposed to the binary colonial genders. 1987, I was ordained by the United Church of Canada. This year, I conducted my first two spirited wedding. It really gave me pride and peace within myself to, to see they're finally recognized and honored and respected. We do care about the two spirit community and that we do have some friends and family that are two spirit and we're here to show our support. When the opportunity to work with United Church Canada came up, people were really excited to acknowledge the United Church's work around reconciliation. We do have residential school survivors who are here at this powwow who have come up and have stated these deep understandings of acceptance and it just warms my heart to think that those connections are being made, those bridges are being rebuilt and we're really revitalizing the circle to bring the Two-Spirit teachings back to Indigenous communities. This isn't just a sponsorship, this is coming together to do something that actually will have long-lasting impact in terms of building better relations. With the Healing Fund, what we find is that this is a fantastic opportunity for us to build bridges with organizations, with institutions, and with United Church to ensure that we are building good relationships going forward. We are acknowledging the histories that have happened, yes, we are acknowledging the realities that are happening right now, yes, but we're also wanting to look at the future and recognize that we can make it better.